Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I want to uh, respond to some, some of your comments about why I use a Kamado for doing my cooking, my grilling and, and, and smoking especially. And so I want to re respond to everyone because I'm sure a lot of you who've never seen a Kamado before or heard about Kamados but uh, got scared away because of the high cost of them and wonder why anyone in their right mind would actually buy one. Well, I'm here to tell you why you want to buy one. I have a pork butt Two, actually two pork butts uh, cooking overnight, it's still on the grill now actually, and it's in the morning right now as I'm doing this, but last night I fired up my grill around 7.30, 8 o'clock, got it up to about 2.35, put on my pork butts, and walked away. You know, went inside, hung out with the family, went to bed, woke up this morning, came outside, still 235 and mind you this is february it's winter time in uh in northern illinois where i live here and uh it's cold out there right and and uh but the grill didn't waver it stayed at 235 it didn't move a degree up or down and and it was beautiful now i ha i have a maverick uh remote temperature probe that i use as sort of a backup in case things do go awry which occasionally they do do you know it, it, it's a grill and it's it's it's, it's an imperfect science uh, barbecuing is right so, uh, but uh, it never went off to, re to remind me in the middle of the night that it was too hot or too cold. And, and uh, so I woke up this morning refreshed. There's no bags under my eyes and I really uh, had time to make breakfast, have some coffee and just generally relax and come outside and check on the grill from time to time. And it's, it, it's, it's so, so convenient to have a Kamado. I've used uh, like my commercial offset smoker. I think it was a Brinkman brand uh, years ago. I Weber kettle grills. I've cooked on these things for years and years and years. And I consider those a high maintenance type grill where you're out there all the time, every hour, adding coals, adding wood, opening vents, closing vents. And you can't do that overnight. You have to get up really early in the morning, then you cook all day, and then your, your guests or your party starts, and the food's not done yet, right? So then everyone's waiting for you to get the food done. and It's just a huge hassle. Me, I do it overnight the night before. I'm in bed, sleeping like a baby. Uh, and in the morning, the food's done and it's ready to go. And that's, that's really the big advantage to, to, a, to having a, a Kamado. Yes, they're expensive, but I'll tell you, there's a lot more advantage as well. They're very efficient with, uh, with the fuel. So one load of charcoal and, and wood will last you several cooks. I mean, this, what I'm doing now is about a 13 to 14 hour cook. And uh, when, I, when I shut it all down and let it cool off and check on it later, I'll have enough coals to do it again without even having, without having to, to refill this thing. And so that's one advantage. You save on charcoal, you save on wood. And uh, also where I live in Northern Illinois, it's, uh, you know, it's winter time right now. It's generally cold outside and, uh, or even in the summertime when it rains, you know, if you have a cheap, you know, metal grill and it rains or snows or it gets really windy, you know, your temperature and your food, it can burn, it can, the fire can go out. There's all kinds of problems, right? And it makes the cooking time extend a lot longer. Not so with a ceramic Kamado or a, or even those cheaper charred griller, acorn type grills, you know, they're, they're, they're double walled and insulated. So any uh, weather that, that, that comes down on them isn't going to affect the cook as much, right? So that's another huge advantage. And another advantage is the, uh, the, the control of the heat and the heat stability, right? Just like I said, I locked it in at 235, didn't have to touch it. These Kamados, they absorb the heat and they themselves become the heat source. So even if the fire goes out, these things will stay hot for hours afterwards. And so that's really efficient. Plus, uh, since they're well sealed up and really tight, uh, you can actually fine tune the temperatures. If I didn't want 235 and I wanted to go up to 238, I just tap a vent a little bit and up it goes to 238. And I can walk away from that too. I don't have to sit there and watch it like overshoot and then adjust the vent and watch it undershoot and back and forth. So, so these Kamados are really good and really user friendly. And one final advantage is uh, the fact that anything I cook in one of these things is super succulent, you know, moist. These ceramic Kamados, somehow they uh, absorb the humidity out of the air that's coming in from the intake vent and um, sort of stays in the chamber and actually I've actually seen it rain inside my Kamado where I'll see rain coming out the vents or open the lid and rain water water just drips down the lid and uh, so that's good things for that's good for things like chicken or other uh, foods that are prone to, to drying out there's no basting required no mopping no brining none of that stuff you don't need to do all any of these 
uh, workaround techniques you do on a regular cheap grill. And again, it's about low maintenance. To me, the higher price and cost of a Commando pays back many fold in savings on fuel and hassle. So thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out other videos on my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe.